Tyler bought these fucking ugly ass wheels. I don't know why my camera keeps turning off. It's my phone phone. It's done though on this one. It's like textured. It's like, I don't even know if y'all can see that or not, but it's like fucking textured. What y'all think? They look the same? Besides the trim holding, they look the same? Yep. I don't think it's folded. Looking at it, I'm pretty sure the bumper's not folded. Because if it was folded, it would be in a box like this long. There's no way. And it's about as wide as it gets. And it was bulging out the both sides. Oh, that's fucking wrong. They didn't fold it. Of course they fucking wrap this shit like three hundred fucking layers, bro. This is very annoying. New one. They put a piece of painter's tape over top of the valence piece. That was weird. Never seen that before. And it's not folded because they said it was going to be folded into three pieces. So thank God it's not. But yeah, that's the new front bumper. We're going to get a little test fit. All right. I don't know why my camera keeps turning off. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully y'all just saw that. But yeah, the front bumper was just on the truck a minute ago. Just fell apart. Or fell off, but whatever. It's getting painted anyways, I don't really care. But yeah. I did... The only reason I got the bedroom caps is because the ones I had before, um, I painted the the ones that go on the sides and they looked like shit. That was my fault that they looked like shit. They didn't match. And I painted them with the rattle can, so I was like, yeah, I fucked that. I'm not putting those on my truck. And then we went to go paint the. I went to go take the uh, tailgate cap off, and when I did, it it was already cracked, like, almost all the way through, and it just cracked into, like, two pieces. So I was like, I don't really want to paint it either way, because it's too much color in my opinion, and I already needed a new tailgate off, so I was like, I might as well order all the ones I can while I can. But yeah, finally. Okay, here we go. I got it. There it is. Yeah, this is definitely the tailgate. So. And I hope they don't have this ugly ass Weston logo on it like they did in the freaking picture. Because if they do, I'm just gonna paint over it. I'm pretty sure it was on the side. They had it. Okay, it doesn't. Thank God. Nice and gritty. But look at that. They only put two right here, one right here, one right here, and two on the other end. That's crazy. That's not even- Is this the driver side? No, that's the passenger side. Look at this shit. Alright, I'm gonna put them here. Look at this. What is all this? They have two pieces like overlapping each other here on the end. They have like three around the stake holes. Two right here. Two right here. Two right here. Two right here. Two around the stake hole on this side. And then just one random ass one that's doing a fucking curve on the end. And they're not even down. It's like four feet up in the air right now. Please don't be too long. Oh shit. I actually like fit perfect, I ain't even gonna lie. I think these are the same ones that they've had before.
Damn. That looks good. I don't know. My phone keeps running out of storage, so. I deleted a couple things. Uh, hopefully that doesn't stop, but for right now, we putting this on. I got all the tape off, so here we go. Fucking full send, first time. I think I got it perfect. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> Dang, that thing looks freaking good. All right, just like always when you're on Facebook, you come across something unexpected, and you go ahead and just buy it and don't even think about it. Well, that happened to me on Friday. I was looking at wheels and tires because I've been looking at wheels and tires. I don't want to ride stocks. Cause you know your boy can't do that. So I went ahead and got those right there. And yeah, so I got rid of the old Toyota stocks I had because that boy had needed something to ride on. So uh, he switched over his wheels and tires on his truck. He rode with those on the truck on the way there. And uh, yeah, so I got new wheels and tires. I'm gonna show you them real quick. So they are 24 inch flakes and 33 inch RBP tires, rolling big power. I thought they were Comforcers because I swear to God these look like Comforcers. This is the one bad tire that there is. It did have a bad line in it. It's a little, this tire is a little bit rough. It has some inside wear on it, but it still nothing to worry about. I'm just going to slap that one in the back. The other three, as you can see, they're literally like brand new. They're like 95% tread all four tires and they are 33 1250 r24 and i've got about a i would say an inch and a half sidewall at most which is pretty scary because where i live or where i used to live where my mom's house is at there's a lot of potholes and stuff and i could definitely crack one of these wheels but they're pretty big i ain't gonna lie um i didn't think i was gonna find a setup that day i'm gonna be honest with you it literally just, you know how it goes. It pops out of nowhere and sneaks up on you and you go get it. So that happened, but I'm not too mad about it. I love these wheels and tires. These are the ones I've been looking at for a long time. And I think they're going to look pretty good, especially because they do have some offset on them, some negative offset. So they'll be pushed out a little bit farther, which will make them stick out of the fender well. And I have to swap those spacers out because those are hub centric and the hub on the Chevy wheels is smaller so they wouldn't fit on top of those those hub centric things because Toyota's hub is bigger um, so I had to get some lug centric spacers which is pretty sketchy and the sketchiest part about them is I got three inch and those are two inch they're already pretty thick like they're really thick three inch is like that so they are very thick spacers and they're probably gonna stick out really far like the this is the 38s with two inch spacers and they have no offset the lugs are really deep on them but they do not stick out like but i would say they're probably half an inch sticking out but it's because of the sidewall of the tire these are literally probably going to stick out i would say that far with the two inch spacers on them so they'll probably have a whole lug of this whole luggage tread is probably going to be sticking out the side fender. So, yeah, um, pretty much. I'm still waiting on my parts for my truck. They are still not here at my tie rod ends. Um, got rusty, but I'll just sand them down. But yeah, I'm pretty much still waiting on my struts and my upper control arms. Nothing's really been happening. Like I said, I put the 38s back on the back, and this bitch is huge, boy. Like, I also went ahead and um, my phone ran out of storage the other day, so I couldn't really record after I got done putting the uh, center of uh, piece on. But I went ahead and put both the 
um, things on, and they're literally perfect. I'm kind of glad I don't have to drive the truck because that gives it time to sit in the heat and the glue to really stick really well. Because I know these are um, in the reviews were saying that issues with them sticking down and just driving immediately with them on there. So hopefully these won't come up at all. They shouldn't. They had a lot of glue on them. There are a lot of 3M double-sided tape. So, but yeah, they both look really good. I ain't gonna lie. They're pretty, pretty flush as you can see all the way down the bed. The same thing with the middle one. It's pretty flush down the bed. And driver's side one. Got a stray as a bow and arrow. But yeah, so I had to put the 38s back on the truck on the back for now. Um, once I get those spacers in, or whatever you would call them, the spacers, adapters, pieces, whatever, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the 33s on the back. Even though I have a three inch block back there. And then I will get the front end all put back together, put those back on there, and we'll ride her out. Um, the front bumper's still here. I'm waiting to get it painted for now. I'm not too worried about it. I just need to drive the truck. So, we back. Got a new package. These are the, should be the adapters for the wheels. So, Oh my god. These things are freaking huge, bro. I think I'm about to start working. Spacer, new space. <laughs> this is hub centric, which is good. This is lug centric, which is pretty sketchy, and it's ten times bigger. But we better go put this one. Black paint. I'm pretty sure I have some, but just don't tell us that. Don't touch the wheel. I'm 
bitches are sticking out, bro. I need to take the box out. Sketchy. Yeah, these can make wheels, bitch. <laughs> Okay, Is it going the right way? Yeah, let's see. Okay. I just take this one all the way That out. thing will rip your hand off if you do not hold on to it. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm not doing that. You just, look. No, I can I'm not do doing it. it. I can do it with one hand watch. No, you do it. Okay. You gotta be careful, it's a lot of torque. This thing has a lot of torque. Yeah, that's why I don't want to do it. My arm moves the morning. Okay. And what, you just pull the wheel off? Yeah. Very hard to pull off. Ah! Look at that! <laughs> Muscles! <laughs> oh, there's a little on it. Oh, you got them off? No. Yeah. I thought you just struck. Where do I put this wheel? Um, you can put it... Right here. Yeah, that's fine. So, got the wheels on the back. <laughs> you can see that big spacer, bro. Jesus, but the three inch block's still in the back, so that's why it's so high still. I gotta take it out. I'm definitely not putting a two inch block in there because that's still gonna be really tall. But the overall, they look pretty good. I can't get over how big that. Spacer is literally huge. Like, I don't think you'll understand how like thick that spacer is. <laughs> Crazy. And it, they poke. They do poke on both sides. Probably, I'd say probably a thick inch. So they look good. I like them. But yeah.